Ayukaria is a biochemist who has contributed significantly in the understanding of soil plant microorganisms. She is poised with influencing policies uh, with her science and increasing the space for women in science. Uh, Eukarya has traveled widely and has published her works in over 70 reputable journals. She has patented her plant-based technology and is concerned with sustainability of technologies. Um, again, she is passionate and actively pushing evidence-informed policy making and encouraging women and girls uh, into science. Eukarya has received many awards and honors including the 2019 Fellow of Ein uh, Next Einstein's Forum, the 2016 Affiliate of the African Academy of Science, the 2015 Fellow of the Commonwealth, the 2015 University of Port Harcourt Merit Award, and the 2013 Fellow of UNESCO L'Oreal for Women in Science, among other awards and honors. <music> so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to stand on the existing protocol established by the winner of the Evidence Leaders Award today, Professor Dial, to address you on the occasion of the award ceremony for the runner-up Evidence Leaders Award. The hunt for sustainable and effective strategies to cultivate promote and strengthen initiatives that brings about the use of evidence in different places of our continent and globally has become very, very important. And my motivation specifically in evidence practice stems from my inner passion and concern over practical problems in our continent and in my country a yearning to meet societal needs from my little circle where I operate and where I have influence and to grab overall intellectual joy because I need to be happy, I need to enjoy myself as a scientist, adding value to the society. I have led numerous efforts within and outside Africa that promote and enable the use of evidence in decision making in government and even in the communities where we have optic, real optic. Notable among these are, I provided credible evidence that settled major disputes in a community in the Niger Delta and a company known as LMA Petrochemicals Company over, pos over possible water pollution from liquid effluent generated by the company. I presented robust evidence that influenced a community in same Niger Delta where I live and work, I influenced them to withdraw a case in court using my evidence. And this has helped the environment that is the culprit when the, when the court case is on, environment suffers as contaminants continue their journey downwards to the lower aquifer where we have the water bodies and you and I will continue to suffer. I and my team recovered the impacted soil in contest and won their trust and the relationship has been enduring. As we've been working in that community, I hold that community for over seven years now. With support from UNICEF, I co-synthesized evidence for responding to child protection issues around 2016 flooding that will set child protection vanguards to enable us secure the life of the little ones that are the most vulnerable of all groups in the world. I've engaged the Department of Petroleum Resources and Ministry of Environment severally to deploy biological technologies to support sustainability in cleanup approach. I have a patent anyway for this technology, which is the use of plants to recover soil degraded by either organic or inorganic contaminants. My evidence song that is a product of my Ella Award is the first of its kind. I've not seen any song dedicated to evidence. So we are the first. You can Google online, it's available. 
to find EIDM sunk. I have worked with government agencies now to establish and enforce chemical management plan based on presented evidence. Because in the course of working with that government agency and engaging them in my personal seminar series in the university, which I set up that is in the fourth series now, I found out that their laboratory was a time bomb as chemicals of varying degrees and reactivities were kept in such compromised manner that they were going to explode in a little time. So my evidence reinvented the whole process around chemical management in that company, and they are forever grateful. And we're working to find a better chain of custody for chemical management in that agency, their laboratory to be specific. I have built and all strengthened the capacity for evidence use and promotion among researchers, communities, and policymakers. My university has given me awards twice for numerous contributions to the university. I now have co-developed evidence guidelines for use by the Nigerian Natural Medicine Development Management Agency and many more. The network we have grown over time is amazing. And we can do more. Thank you, AAS. Thank you, AFIDEV. Thank you, all of you. My heart goes out to all those who believe in evidence. Thank you. Go Africa. Thank you.